Good evening, blessed people of God and Facebook family. This is Pastor Jones. I happen to serve at and have the privilege and honor of serving as the senior pastor of God's Will Christian Fellowship, and I'm just coming to you uh, with this week's weekly word. Uh, before we get into that, I definitely want to give my condolences uh, to all the families and friends of those who have uh, been touched uh, by this uh, just this fatal just incident that happened in Florida concerning the shooting at the school and our, the whole nation is grieving so I just want to give my condolences uh, to the family members and to the friends and uh, to everyone who may be involved in, the, in this situation praying for God's comfort uh, for those families. Uh, hopefully this word will bring comfort because that's what the Word of God does. The Word of God brings comfort. Uh, so for this week, for uh, the week is com coming from Colossians, the book of Colossians, third chapter, verses one and two. And uh, the book of Colossians says in chapter three, verses one and two, reading from the King James Version, it says, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 and 2. Just for a short while, I just want to uh, dive into this. We see in this very first verse, uh, Paul is telling his audience uh, at Coloss that if you are risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. So that is better transliterated because you are risen with Christ. So in order to uh, be have, having been raised or being risen with Christ, then it shows that there was something that was before they were raised or risen with Christ, which takes us back to the second chapter, uh, verse 20. It says that they have died to Christ. So uh, Paul is speaking to the church at Coloss, and because he's speaking to them, of course, uh, by influence and by uh, transference, he's also speaking to Christians today. So this message still applies uh, to those who are blood-bought, fire baptized, Holy Ghost filled. Amen. So Paul is speaking to us today. He says that since we have died uh, with Christ, or if we have died with Christ, amen, we should we have been raised with him as well. If we died with Christ, then we've been raised with Christ. And if we've been raised with Christ, because we have been raised with Christ, we need to think about things that are above. So he's not saying to not have your feet firmly planted in this earth yes we have to live here on earth earth is our uh, physical dwelling place but our spiritual dwelling place is not here on earth earth is not our final destination and so if we are uh, clawing and scratching and trying to accumulate everything here on earth and have no concern about our future we are of all men most miserable what good does it do for us to live 60 70 80, 90, 100 years here on earth and then spend eternity in hell. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his own soul? So you know, I think the, the, the body of Christ uh, can learn from Paul's writings here that we should put more of our focus on things that are eternal, things that are heavenly, instead of things on here on earth. Yes, we have to pay bills. God for. You know, we have to pay bills. We made them. We got to pay them. We got to pay bills. We got to live here on earth. But we ought to, our focus should be on heavenly things. So since we've been raised with Christ, since we died with him, and since we have been raised with Christ, we are to seek things above. So we are to uh, f seek things that are above where Christ sits on the right hand of God. We are to seek the things that Christ sits on the right hand of God, meaning spiritual things. We ought to be concerned about uh, getting closer to him, having a personal relationship with God, doing the things that would draw us closer to God and not further away. Because if our souls are saved, it will spill over into physical things. But if our, you know, if we are seeking only the physical things, physical things won't transfer into spiritual things. God cannot reveal himself to us through physical things. So we need to work on the spirit man when we build up the spirit, man, everything else will fall in line. And when we have the overflow of God's spirit in our spirit, 
uh, it will overflow into our physical nature, into our financial life, into our emotional life, into relational issues. But if we get the spirit right, the rest of the body and the rest of life will flow and follow as well. That's not to say that everything is going to run perfectly. Just because I got Jesus, that means that my life is going to be free of trouble, no problems. No, you, the devil is alive. Because you're serving Christ, you're going to have some issues. But guess what? Trouble doesn't last always. This too shall pass. So I'm hoping I'm encouraging somebody's spirit. Whatever you're going through for the sake of Christ, know that this too shall pass. So God wants us uh, to learn this lesson through Paul. That we are to set our affections on things above. Second verse says, set your affections on things above, not on things of the earth. So many of us are focused on earthly things. Yes, we live here on earth, but our focus should not be here on earth. Our focus should be for eternal things. Uh, if we focus on this life, 60, 70, 100 years, what is that in comparison to eternity? Yeah, exactly. We, we can't even fathom eternity. It's inconceivable. It's incomprehensible. It's unfathomable. We can't comprehend eternity. So, But we need to focus on what's eternal and forget about the things that are not eternal. Not forget about them in such that uh, we don't care about the things of the world. Yes, we should care about things of the world as well. But our focus should be on spiritual things. So Paul says, if you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sits on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. So I hope this word has helped you. God bless you. I hope it's encouraged your heart. I uh, pray that if I had to sum this word up into a few sentences, I would say, uh, if we are identified with Christ, we should strive for heavenly things, not earthly things. What are our priorities? Where do our priorities lie? Are we so focused on getting and, and achieving everything down here on earth? I heard some of the old time warriors say, um, we, we get all we can, can all we get, and then we sit on the can. Well, what good is that? <laughs> what good is that going to do us in eternity? The things that are here on earth will not transfer into eternity. Only what we do for Christ is going to last. Spiritual things. God bless you. Uh, if you're looking for a place to worship on tomorrow, I invite you to come and worship with us. We're looking forward to uh, even right now I'm praying that God will bless the house, that we'll have a great time on tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great night.